opportunity that you have uh, from the butterfly guard. Your opponent isn't sitting that far back, and he's not sitting far enough forward. So, and he's got his arms playing tight. So you might get the underhook, but you, you can't close enough distance. He's sitting at just the wrong angle for you. When you sit in to try to sweep the arm, he, he can sit back. If you try to go to that Sperry sweep, he can move forward. He's at that, that wrong angle for you. Here's an opportunity that you have to create a different angle. So my opponent is sitting in what I call no man's land. This, is, this zone right here, if I'm here and I try to pull forward, he's able to, to lean his hips back. Okay. Vice versa, if I try to go here, he's forward enough, he's, push, he's pushing me back. So i got to come up with a way to change the angle of him. I've got this underhook. What I want to do is post right here and then grab my own hand. Now, I'm going to be doing two motions. One is pulling down and two is turning up. Okay, Here, like a steering wheel. Pulling this down and spreading out his shoulder. Now, my left leg is going to come over my opponent's head and my right leg is going to go into his midsection. I'm going to scissor kick him. Okay, So when I go here, this left leg is going to go up. I just want you to be able to see that. So I'm here, I pull my opponent down, I sit back and go here. Now, a lot of people get stuck right here because they're just trying to lift their opponent. That's not the idea. They're just trying to lift their opponent with their leg. You're not going to be able to do it. You have to make this one continuous motion. So when I go here and I pull down, it's a roll. It's not a scissor lift. I'm rolling my body. So I'm here rolling my body and it's very easy. Now, I still got my opponent's tricep. Two options here. One, lift the tricep, bring the knee under, and sit up for the arm bar. Go here, this leg goes up, and as he goes down, I roll him. And I come up into the on chest. Option two. I'm here, I can't seem to get my opponent too far forward or backwards, so I go here, pulling his shoulder down. Now, pay attention that I am not sitting here and then trying to lift my opponent. It's not going to work. I'm flat on my back, not going to happen. Instead, I want to make it one rolling effect. So here, crank him down, rolling effect. Now, option one, pull the arm up, replace the knee, get the arm bar. Option two, crank, rolling and scissor kicking, and coming up into knee on chest. Option two, going into some of my other attacks. So we're here, can't get my opponent forward or backward, locking here, breaking his posture. Okay? My opponent is going to be trying to throw this underhook as well. That's why I'm raising his arm, I mean his head with my, my left arm here. See how that kind of opens his chest up, opens his shoulder up? Now I sit back and over my left, hooking, sitting up for the arm bar. Other opportunity, I go here. Open his chest up, sit back and roll, and come up into knee on chest, creating a knee on chest position. We're here from this angle. Pay attention to how I'm opening my opponent's chest up. I want him looking this way, and I want his tricep going up toward the ceiling on the other side. Here. Also pay attention that I'm not laying flat on my back. I am not doing this. Without my opponent, what I am doing is not back. What I'm doing is here, okay? I'm going over my shoulder. So we're here, opening my opponent's uh, chest up, leg over and scissor kick, coming up, and knee on chest. From here, breaking my opponent's posture, hooking, catching. Now, opening his tricep up, replacing my knee, taking the arm bar. That's an opportunity that you have when your opponent is kind of sitting at exactly the wrong angle for you. He's got his weight far back, so you can't pull him forward, but he's got his weight leaning forward just enough to where you can't get under him to go for the Sperry Sweep. It's a way for you to kind of create a different angle and at least get the match moving.